Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video, I'm going to go through uh, some really easy tips that you can use to make your posing a lot better for taking belly dance images to promote yourself. Um, my name is Nefabit, and I have over 20 years of belly dance experience um, and lots of experience modeling as well. I've been modeling off and on since I was about 12. I received commercial work and uh, coaching from Susan Page Modeling in Honolulu and my dad is also a freelance photographer. So all of that combined experience has kind of given me um, some unique insight that I would love to share with you so that you can take some beautiful pictures. Um, so I'm just going to go through some basic tips today. Let me bring them where I can see them. So the first thing I'm going to talk about real quick is you really get what you pay for uh, just as you want your clients to respect you and pay you what you're worth when you go do a gig. Make sure that you are actually contacting a photographer and not wasting his time. Um, when the images are for you and your benefit, you should pay the photographer. If the images are for the photographer's benefit, if they're going to sell prints or use it to sell to a magazine or whatever, then they would pay the model. And that, that instance is going to be pretty rare for belly dancers. So unless you're friends with a photographer or maybe can trade, um, you should expect to pay a few hundred dollars for your pictures. But I would guarantee you that it will be worth it. Um, so like anything, if you get a cheap tattoo, you're going to hate it. If you get cheap pictures, it's going to be a waste of everybody's time. Um, you can get pictures from your friend who has a camera, but they will not look professional. So you need to find a photographer who has professional equipment, has good lighting, um, a space, a studio space, ideally, or you can shoot outside. Um, but you need to make sure that you discuss what you are expecting and um, make sure that you also are paying for uh, digital reproduction rights. Um, you may have to pay for prints. Um, pay extra or buy print packages, but you should talk about how many um, watermark free high res images that you will receive to use for your promotional purposes. So when you're doing that, and unless you're really good friends with the photographer, you're going to be paying a good amount to have that right because you're using their artwork for your benefit. So just keep that in mind. That being said, it's going to be totally worth it. Second thing I would say, when you come to your photo shoot, make sure that you have appropriate hair and makeup, that your nails are polished and everything like that, um, and bring two to three costume changes, max. You know, if you're shooting for several hours, um, you know, you can bring several costumes, um, but probably two costumes, I would say, for a couple hour photo shoot. Um, and if you really practice your poses and know what you're doing beforehand, you're going to get better pictures faster so you can get more bang from your buck for a shorter photo shoot. You don't necessarily want to pay for four hours for you to stand in front of the camera and say, uh, I don't know what to do. Another thing to remember is that the photographer is not the same thing as a posing coach and you will actually probably piss off or aggravate your photographer if you ask him to pose you. Those are totally different things. So if you don't have a production team, you don't have someone to help coach you on your poses, someone to do your hair and makeup, you are responsible for all of that. The photographer is only going to take the pictures. And in some cases, they may not even retouch the pictures. You may have to pay to have them retouched or do it yourself. So just keep in mind that the photographer's job is to take the photos and that's it. So. Those are my first two tips. Now we're going to get into talking about how to do some really good poses. I'm going to share my favorite poses with you and I'm going to share with you some techniques for applying to any pose that will make it look amazingly better almost immediately. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, how to flatter your stomach and how to stand in a way that's going to make you look uh, a little more slim than you may be, or just as slim as you can be. So two tips. One is that you don't want to just pull your stomach in. Um, especially in belly dance, this actually just applies to dancing too because this restricts your body in a lot of ways. What you want to do, and I'm going to come closer so you guys can see my stomach. So don't pull in. See how this does this weird thing with my ribs. Pull up. So think of 
lengthening from here. That also brings my chest forward. It creates this more, you know, tight look. A second thing that you can do is with the picture when you're straight onto the camera, lean back a little bit. You see what that does to my stomach? And especially full-time belly dancers end up getting this really strong line right here, which is pretty. But, you know, if you want to look a little bit more like a swimsuit model, what you're going to do is you're going to pull up in your tummy and then you're going to push your hips forward like this. This is what a lot of fitness models do when you see pictures of like, oh, flatten your tummy in five days or whatever. What they're doing is they're leaning back like this and that flattens the stomach. But if you do it from the front, you can't tell that you're leaning back. It just looks nice. So it's not very exaggerated. It's just this small here, and you'll feel it. You can look down at your stomach. You'll feel the abs will lengthen and tighten there. So this is good, especially for front poses like this where you're facing the front of the camera. So you're going to lean back just a little bit. The second thing I want to talk about is belly dance pictures versus like high fashion pictures or commercial pictures don't necessarily want to accentuate the same thing. So if I'm doing a photo shoot for you know something more mainstream I'm gonna to want to look like really slender and like really tall especially because I'm short I'm 5'4 so you can do that it depends on your body type so I'm gonna go through a couple different things you can do so one if you want to look more slim through your lower body you want to put it away from the camera so if I want my hips to look smaller I'm going to turn and put my weight behind me and maybe turn my upper body and that instantly slenderizes here. But generally, depending on your body type, I find for belly dance that we want to accentuate the feminine curves. So for me, when I pose for belly dance photos, I pose almost straight on so that my hips are accentuated. Some other things you can do there. I mean, this, this looks terrible. No matter how beautiful or slim or curvy you are, this is like the worst thing you can do. Never face the camera straight on unless you're creating some angles. But to accentuate your hourglass, what you want to do is pull your knees in. I call this like the pen up model pose. So I'm going to come back some so you can see my legs. Whoops. So rather than standing with my legs under my hips, I'm going to pull my legs in. And you can either twist your hips away and your chest forward, depending on what you want to accentuate or you can bring your hips square and twist your upper body away. And this is what I tend to do for my body type because I want to accentuate my hips. So I'm going to show you that a little closer so you can see my, my torso. So we have, here is boring, here is going to minimize the body in general. So this is better if you're a little bit heavier, this is going to be more flattering. If you want to really bring in the hourglass photo, or figure you're going to pull in your, your leg and see the difference between here and there. See it pulls in right there. So that's one way to accentuate your hips. To accentuate your waistline, we're going to do what I call zipping the rib cage. So I'm going to show you here. And when you're relaxed, your ribs are relaxed. You want to pull in. So it's kind of like you're taking a big breath, push it out. And what that does is it pulls in the waistline right here. So I'm just standing in line at the grocery store, this is me. And then if I'm posing for a picture, I'm going to pull in my ribs and lean back a little bit. And that just instantly makes anybody look more uh, curvy and more slim at the same time. So I'm going to show you an example of doing all three of those things at once. So here's your basic, I don't know what to do pose, and then bam. All right. So the other thing I'm going to talk about is whatever pose you want to do, you're going to want to create a line, a curve, or an angle. If you're doing something more edgy or more tribal, you can get a little bit more like editorial with it. You can pop legs out to the side, slide your ribs over, you know, do, um, do something more mysterious there. But just to give you a basic idea of, say, just like a classical pose, you know, you want to smile, eyes either towards the camera, past the camera, away, like, ah, I'm looking into the distance, something like that. But for an example of a good line, like a curve, so if I want to make a curve, I can bring, whoops, oh, I can bring my foot behind me, 
and reach over like so. And then that curve comes all the way down. So that's creating an interesting shape. Another interesting shape you can do if you're here is zigzag your body. So by zigzag I mean my foot's over here. So left, hips go right, chest goes left, head goes right. So you can do zigzags. If you're doing just like a sort of classical line, this is a classic pose. Here's a good pose. And that brings me to my next point, which is put your hands somewhere. Do something with your hands. And I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, I'll just kneel so you guys can see. Anytime I do headshots, I like bring my hands by my face, do something with them. You would never do this stuff, but for some reason in pictures it looks natural. So whatever you're doing, you know, you can play with your hair, look away, you know, for belly dance you can do some more, I don't know what I'm doing right now, doing mysterious things, you know. But no matter what you're doing, you know, put your hands in your hair. Look at the camera, look away from the camera. Look up, look down. Just something. Another really good one for belly dancers is to, my hair is already up, but pull your hair up and look through the crook in your elbow. But don't just do this, right? You want to exaggerate. So arch your back, lean your head back, turn your head, do something with it. Um, because one thing I've learned in modeling is that the more uncomfortable you are, as long as it doesn't translate in your body posture, like, oh, I'm so uncomfortable, oh my god, the better the picture is going to look. So part of taking good pictures is being really uncomfortable and looking really <sighs> serene and smiling or looking, <sighs> you know, or angry, just like, how dare you make me uncomfortable. But no matter what sort of expression or mood you're going for, your interesting shapes need to come into the picture. Because putting on a belly dance costume and going isn't really enough. It's not going to give you, like, wow pictures. Um, let me check my notes here. And the last tip I'm going to go over today is just to exaggerate everything. So what I mean by that, like, don't just, like, pop your knee out and sort of, like, Hey, I'm standing in line at the grocery store, but I'm feeling pretty today, so I'm going to stand like this. You want to be ba ba boom. Your camera's going to flatten everything out, so you've really got to be like kapow, kapow, pow. You know, bring in twisted angles into your body, sink into your poses, breathe through it, you know, move slowly. <sighs> breathe. Because a good photographer will take pictures at intervals to kind of catch what you're doing. You can move really slowly and find what works. Um, but whatever you're doing, like for instance, if I'm going to do like a, a side image, you want to be, you know, dramatic with whatever you do, or if you come back, just got back, <laughs> if you come back, you need to like really come back and like arch and create beautiful lines, or if you're doing something here, you know, whatever it is, you've got to do it like twice as much as you think it is. Like really slide your hip out to the side. You know, really express to the camera more than you think you have to. The only thing I will say that you don't want to do um, is if you're coming closer in, don't like look away so far that you're like off in la la land. But look like, I don't know an angle away from the camera, like something there, but not profile. So it's just a little ways away. Or if you're looking at the camera, you've really got to like do weird things with your face. It feels awkward, but just do it anyway. One more thing I will say is don't be shy and don't be afraid. A lot of times when I'm in front of the camera, the best pictures that I come up with are the ones where I get frustrated and then I do something really random that I just thought of. Um, so just try things because, you know, it's not even, you don't even have to pay for film anymore. You're paying for your time there and it's better to just go bam, 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 cycle through some poses. And there are a million derp pictures is what I call them. I have a million derps and, you know, 
a few really good pictures and some are better than others. So you have to do enough derps to get good ones. So don't be afraid and don't like look through the fiddles and be like, oh, I hate that one. Oh, I hate it. Oh, 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 I'm doing a bad job. Just there will be a hundred pictures that you hate and then one that looks good. So just wait for that one that you like. Um, but another thing to do too is practice in front of the mirror before your photo shoot. Don't waste your time and your money paying for a good photo shoot if you don't know what to do. Um, and also don't just get in front of a camera and dance. Live action shots are totally different and they will not look as professional. Like if you're on a stage and you've got a killer live action shot, that's great and honestly they're one in a million. Um, it's really hard to just get in front of a camera, turn some music on and just goof off and dance. All the pictures are going to end up kind of blurry, you're going to be kind of distracted looking, you're not really hitting any pose, you're just sort of like halfway between certain things. You might get a few, but honestly, in my experience, I have not seen good results from that, so I wouldn't waste time doing that. Practice your poses, practice full body poses, three quarter poses, and practice like in the mirror or even with a camera, you know, your, your, your face shots, okay? Yeah. <laughs> practice your face shots. Look in the mirror, go in, brushing your teeth, right? Make faces at yourself. That's what I do. That's what I do all the time. I've practiced my smile in the mirror since I was like 12 years old and, you know, I don't know, just practice. And then you're going to get the best um, results for your work. So those are my tips for today. I hope that they help. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment or send me a message and I'm more than happy to share my experience with you or give you advice. Um, please be on the lookout for more videos on my YouTube channel as well as my Pow How account. Um, so Pow How is Northwest Belly Dance Company or an F of it. And I'm going to have a whole series there uh, very soon about posing and taking good pictures and more material like this. So if you like it, I hope that you will check it out. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm there. So if you're there, we should be friends because that would be cool. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. I hope you'll leave me a like and maybe save my video because that would be nice and I like nice people. So thanks. I'll see you later. Bye.